Look at those chickens. Got this big door open today, even though we installed that um, automated door because I want a little bit more light in there. I'm going to be working on hooking up the automated water. I'm going to add a float valve to that one down there, and then I'll be able to um, hook up this uh, PEX line, this white line right here you see. I think I'm going to bring, instead of having to come over there, I'm going to bring it down right here to these waters. And maybe even I'll hang, uh, maybe even I'll hang that one up. We'll see what I do. Also, these two nesting boxes are doing great. Here, check it out. That one right there. Oh, that one right there's got a cracked egg. So I need to redo that. I'm going to bring in a, several more nesting boxes so that way they can have some more space. See, 60 chickens or 50, however many chickens we have, they need more space than uh, just two nesting boxes. It's a cold, chilly day here on the farm, but it is an awesome one. Loving it. Let me show you what we do. Let me tell you a few bonuses of PEX piping. So this, I had it strung up just for the chicken water. I'm gonna reroute the line so that way I can have um, a branch of it go over to the pig water, a branch of it go over to the um, chicken water, a branch of it go to the, the dog water. But if you were to do this with PVC, it would just snap all, all over. Because PVC doesn't, um, doesn't flex like this. And we're about to go out of town to have the biggest addition of all to the farm. We're having another baby. So we're going to go out of town and have that baby and then come back. And while we're gone, I want the farm to be as automated as possible so that way we don't have to uh, put a huge burden on our friends that will come over and, um, and help us with it. Okay, so I'm going to hook up this blue line. I've got this one, this white one that can go almost all, or it can go all the way to those two stalls over there. And I'm going to um, attach this now up at the top, and then I will branch this off for the chickens and for the dog. And then once I get that done, then I'll find some more pecs for the pigs. Because the pigs currently have, let me show you, the 55 gallon drum that you saw in the other video that we created. That thing holds water. They probably don't go through that, but once uh, once a week or so. Look at them. They're when it's cold, they get a little bit uh, more lazy. So, I think that one is not terrible, except for the inconvenience of running a hose and um, and filling that up. But I'm hoping to get that one automated today as well. Okay, let me just um, pull this PEX down. I'll cut it, I'll attach a little fitting for there. We'll be good to go for that one. So there are a few challenges with chickens. One, they like to climb on things. Two, they like to roost on things. Three, they poop a lot. I mean, there are more than just three, but those are the three that you have to deal with with um, in terms of uh, where you place your waters, where you place your nesting boxes, where you place everything. Because you don't want them sitting there 
pooping up a storm. Let me see if I can catch a chicken real quick. I got one. Perfect. Okay, so I want it just high enough right here. Here, be, be calm, be calm. So probably the bottom of it right about here. So that way the chickens can drink just fine. Okay. That's what the if you make it too low, then they put a bunch of junk and dirt in it. If you put it too high, they can't reach it. I'll just dump the water. Okay. So the goal is to be kind of like that. We go. Let me go see if I can catch another chicken. So I can test it out to see if they'll to see if they'll do it. Woo! Almost got that one, but nope. It's a little bit hard to catch chickens sometimes. But let's see, I think they're I think they're a little bit, they might be a little bit hot. No, I think they can reach in there. Now they're talking. Oh, there are two of them in there. You know, I saw this, uh, I saw this thing in the <laughs> this thing on a carton of eggs that we bought from someone. They were just reusing the carton, so they weren't this crazy. But the carton of eggs said um, that the chickens had private nesting boxes. Do you see these chickens right here? Let me show you. You see these chickens right here? Do you think they want private nesting boxes? They like each other. This one's wanting to get in there to lay an egg with them. Yeah. So I think that's a bunk. Okay, so we've got our water right here. I'm going to go and get that part to, um, to uh, attach it. <laughs> Witness this choir here. This one is choir, so they all talk to one another. Let me go and turn on the water and see if I find any leaks anywhere. It's pressurized, but I don't hear it running. No leaks here. That's a good sign. Oh, I see a leak. Okay, so let's see if it shuts off. Shuts off perfect. I'm going to clean that water out, but that's just a very little leak, and that's part of the drain. This one, I don't see any leak. Let's see if that turns on. Oh, bad leak there. That just looks like that um, part right there is bad. I'm going to replace that. I heard this racket in the barn. Check out who's trying to make a home right there. And the Prickle, Prickle the cat, just walked by her. She's real nervous about that. Let's go find Prickle. Wonder how many eggs are there. The chickens have found their way up into the top of the barn, at least this one has. Wonder where the eggs are that it's been laying. Oh, and this is, um, Pedro the possum. Maybe yeah, not Pedro, but oh, look at this. Prickle's like, what is going on here? I love drama in the barn, at least this kind of drama that's harmless. Um, if it's deadly drama, that's not good, but I do love this kind of back and forth banter from the animals. Got anything in there? Can we check to see what's underneath you? Don't 
the golden egg. Now some people might say, why do you go through all this effort of um, automating the water, making it so it doesn't go out? I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Well, if our big challenge right now is uh, we're about to go out to uh, have the biggest, best addition to our family or to our farm yet, and that's to add on another kid. Are you all excited about that? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to add on another kid. That'll be a big, nice addition to the farm. And, uh, and so we're going to do that. What? Yeah, it's a little baby. We don't, even, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. But um, we'll find out when they when they come out. So uh, we're gonna be gone for a while, and with that being gone for a while, it's um, it, you know we're we're relying on our friends and our um, neighbors and such to take care of things while we're gone. I don't want to require them to come every day over here to the farm because they've got other things going on, and so I want them to be able to come over every like two, three, four days, something like that. So that way they can keep an eye on things, you know, make sure the animals are still okay. But it will eliminate the need to water all the animals, which is a daily task if you don't have it automated or a big water storage thing. Um, so yeah, that's why we're trying to do it. I think if it was during the summertime and we're here or whatever time of the year, if we're here all the time, then it's not that big of a deal to come out and turn on the water for a little bit. But uh, because we're going to be gone for a while, having a baby um, could be a couple weeks, could be several weeks. So we'll, we'll see. Um, so I'll show you. We do need to get some more pecs before I can finish this run. But I was able to get all the leaks fixed. You want to go out here? Okay. I was able to get all the leaks fixed that I had um, created the other day. Actually, it was just yesterday. But this is all one video, so pretend like it's all the same day. You coming out too? Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. So again, I have not created this system to work all through the winter time, unfortunately. Because if it was to freeze, I'm going to need somebody to come over here and turn off all this water. Otherwise, I might break the pipes. But I don't... I don't think it's going to freeze too many more times. We're in the middle of February right now. Yes. A chicken up there. The chicken's up there? Oh my goodness. Let's see. There it is. It's pretty easy to go up to the next floor, right? Whoop, there it is. Oh, I think there are two of them up there. Oh my goodness, these chickens are going all over the barn. Okay, here, what? What are we gonna do? Perfect, I love it. Awesome perk 495 of why it's good to have chickens and other animals. All these leftovers that um, bananas gone bad, eggs that uh, are old because lots of reasons, but um, old food, basically it eliminates the waste cycle. That girl out there, Juliet, she's an eater as well. She loves eating food. Just put it down. The one that's in here, already real curious about it. Just chat down on that sucker. Look at that, I love that watering system there. It's on, they can drink from it. 